Would you give us over to the state? Yeah, just a uh, major disappointment not to protect your home tonight and a home opener. I mean, uh, you know, our league did very well today representing, and so I think, they're, you know, we have a responsibility to, uh, you know, to play like we're capable. So, you know, I'm just going to kind of start with that because, uh, you know, we should take care of business on the board. And, you know, kudos to CCSU to play a little tougher than we did. Question. Coach, where do you think you're going to build the most defensively? 100%. I mean, they were what, 11 for 26 from, from the arc, and people have um, big nights. You know, like I said, they, they were a team that was unproven. They had a lot of freshmen that were going to have to step up that didn't have that role last year. And uh, we didn't make adjustments. We played very tentative in the first half. You know, whether to guard them, not shuffle, you know, shuffling our feet, playing just very tentative. I mean, and, uh, and it just was a bit surprising on that. On the guard end, I feel like these two guys, you know, were doing their best to hold the fourth down. I mean, I, as, as many touches as she's getting, and I, I wanted to make every one that she hits, and you know, you know, at crucial times. But they're over there trying to, to do the work, and, and we didn't we didn't have a lot of support in the guard area for them tonight. A little career high for you. How does that feel? At least do something good in a, in a loss like that. Well, I know. The same team for the second time, I'm really not happy about that. And the plans so of rebound, whatever, it doesn't really count right now since we did not get to our goal of winning the game. So that doesn't matter. Girls, what do you think about the uh, tempo? Not good. Not the tempo. I mean, I, I threw Asia Jackson out at the point, and she actually did a great job of running the tempo. So this is not how we practiced the past 20, 31 practices. You know, this is not how we practiced, and I, you know, I, I uh, and not how we scrimmaged in our first two scrimmage with a lot more pressure that we had in our, in our scrimmages. So, um, yes, it, you know, we're not flushing it, the, the long season, but it's just disappointing that we can fight a little bit harder. And I've been talking to you guys about people playing tougher, um, playing tougher, and kind of get over their mistakes a lot quicker and going to the next play. And I feel like the times where people were disappointed by all the missed shots causes so many defensive breakdowns. I mean, we have a lot of things against our philosophy that we're broken down today. We started doubling a post player that on their side didn't even score. We're not even supposed to double, the kid didn't even score. Um, we were doubling on her. Uh, she was one for three. That wasn't our game plan. We don't double on the post. We doubled down and the kid hit a three in the corner. Or we don't do our defense assignment on the lock and chase. So, you know, it's on me. It's, I'm the ship. I'm the ones run the ship. But we got to play better. We got to play tougher. Coach, I know you said in the past that the rebuild's over. It's kind of a win now, man. How much of this, if any, can you chalk up to as being the first night and maybe having some sophomores in front of the role and whatnot? That's not good enough. It's, it's a cop out for for us because I think you can always play harder and always um, practice harder. And that is, this is not something that is the first time being said. It's um, said every day. And, um, and, and it hurt us time. You know, the time we were pouting or we have our head down, you guys watch nonverbals, then they're making a shot on it. So that is immaturity. That is a problem in the maturation process, but I don't, it's no excuse. So uh, it's no excuse at all. Proud, proud of these guys, proud of a freshman right here stepping up, um, handling the hits. It's the first time that she plays in a college game. Now she realizes how many hits she's going to get in the course of the game, and now she has to handle the hits. I'll deal with that one. She's never had, she's never been played at this level. So, um, so I'm definitely proud of both of these guys. None of us feel very good at it. We got to find something very positive to do. Well, of course, we were three for twenty, which was atrocious. But we were settling for those at times while we were not attacking gaps. And Standing there with the ball over our head. How many times do you see that? That's not how we don't, that's not how we play in our offensive sense. So um, you know that part we need to, to grow very fast and you know score the way that we're capable of scoring. So a lot of that was settled. Settling the shot clock, um, just not executing very well.
touching the ball at this level, at the collegiate level, does that at least help you going forward, having like this this one first experience under your belt? Yeah, it actually does. Because now I know from now on, like what type of shots I need to make, what type of moves, how like to control the ball better, like you know, I have to be intuitive and huge. Coach, the kind of loss you said to come through your season, you say this is how we play here, and this is how it's going to be from here on. Yeah. Certainly, I heard them say that in the locker room that you didn't need to remember how you feel. Because talk is cheap. I mean, we didn't have a long speech in there. So it's a very long season, but we don't want to have these types of talks and these types of feelings. I mean, you're going to suffer some losses, but, you know, because you laid it out on the line and you really get everything that you, uh, you know, you could. I think that's the part that, um, you know, it's hard to, to sleep on. So all you can do is go up from here. It's just a, a devastating drop. It uh, doesn't define us. If we do something about it, it doesn't define us. We make changes that doesn't define you. Know, if you think it's just going to happen, you know, it's going to happen naturally. And we'll be in for a good way from that. You know, we certainly um, you know, it's not define us. And Coach, uh, going down the last few minutes of uh, regulation, do you feel like you have a go-to score, or do you feel like whoever, whatever the defense gives you in that type of situation, goes down? Well, our go-to score did not have very good game tonight, so, uh, you know, so I think I guess we'll play back to the driveway, but you know, Ace was very good off the ball a little bit, and um, the freshman Aliana wasn't afraid to sit up and take a shot. Um, so, uh, you know, we're kind of scrambling a little bit right now. What we need in the time and situation. I thought they executed very well. Um, you know, down down the crunch, we executed. We got a couple of shots. You know, we should have just executed them and controlled that tempo a little better and earlier. So. Not to dwell too much on officiating, yeah. but what was that little discrepancy? Uh, it was. I, I think that. Um, I think that uh, there was a discrepancy of whether the shot was um, taken or the foul was called. There was a lot of people hooking on the rebounds and things because they knew that we had a size advantage in some that respect. But, uh, you know, uh, at the end of the day, we, I, I was, I was, every time I said, we have to play tougher and handle the hits. If they're going to you know, let us get hit and things like that, we have to handle it. And, you know, we'll just talk about that. Thanks, guys. Yep.